In this presentation, we'll focus on NLP in Abbey FlexiCapture. So we'll learn about how NLP is implemented in FlexiCapture, and we'll learn about the tools we have in FlexiCapture to implement those NLP technologies. And we'll also learn about how we can combine general data capture techniques with NLP. First, let's focus on what NLP is and how we apply it with data capture. NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. It is a combination of artificial intelligence and computational linguistics. NLP and FlexiCapture improves over time, so that's an advance driven by machine language, and also it takes into account human uh, approaches to understanding and resolving uh, problems. So in mimicking human thought and human behavior is the ability to understand written text. And this is why we can apply natural language processing to data capture. For business document processing, Natural language processing is applied in two main use cases, for text analytics and for data capture. For text analytics, we are looking for NLP to offer insights and help humans in their decision-making processes. In general, text analytics is used to improve enterprise performance. In our case, Abby is focused on data capture with NLP. So we use NLP and data capture to help reduce enterprise expenses and, and minimize uh, the data heavy tasks of, of capturing data, say from uh, contracts and other section formatted documents. So for Abby's use of NLP technology, it's really not about text analytics, and it's really all about data capture. And here you can see a beautiful example, really, of uh, Abby's use of an NLP data extraction engine. So you can see the sample document, and over here in FlexiCapture, the data extracted, again, using a FlexiCapture NLP engine. The document itself consists of lots of paragraphs, and we are able to extract the entire paragraphs or text entities within those paragraphs. So here we used a combination of NLP data for the unstructured data, and then uh, Flexi Layout technologies to actually go and capture the table data. So our technologies certainly can combine. So as you've learned and experienced, FlexiCapture is very good at capturing structured data and also capturing semi-structured data using FlexiLayout Studio. And FlexiLayout Studio has also been uh, good at capturing data from unstructured documents, but with the addition of NLP, we can now capture a lot more fields more easily using training with NLP-powered data capture algorithms. We have some different use case scenarios we can talk about, um, such as real estate documents, loans and lease originations. We can capture a lot of text off of these kinds of uh, documents, such as deeds and so forth. So um, the document structures lend themselves well to NLP data capture. Another use case involves healthcare, and it, we can focus on pharmacovigilance, which is, in other words, drug safety, and how to collect data and assess adverse effects of drugs, for instance. So pharmaceutical companies need to track publications related to drugs they sell and collect information about side effects, uh, side effects in general, or related to some specific condition, or perhaps uh, manifesting when one drug is combined with other drugs. 
So pharmaceutical companies must review thousands of articles on a monthly basis. Um, and that review process has traditionally been manual. Uh, NLP can transform that manual process to a much faster process and enable assessments such as whether a reported problem is an individual case or rather perhaps a pattern of cases that need further investigation. So we are able to pinpoint specific data and let analysis happen. Since healthcare is a very good fit, we have many uh, healthcare-related FlexiCapture NLP projects currently running. Another use case is extraction of data from emails. And this can, for instance, facilitate um, quickly sorting incoming emails. So we can focus with NLP algorithms to capture data such as parties of an agreement, names of people or organizations, dates, addresses, roles such as buyer or seller of parties, sums of money, percentages, and uh, different judicial cl clauses, that is paragraphs of text. So let's discuss some of the limitations of NLP. NLP is not suitable for handwritten text or documents with poor quality OCR, and currently we support English German and Russian languages. So uh, it's not suitable for multi-language documents. And also a flexi layout should be applied beforehand if we want to capture table data or list data, repeating group type data uh, that, that is in a table format. And it's really not suitable for extracting words without any text surroundings, for example, a sentence. So now we understand what NLP is, and next we'll focus on how to apply this technology using FlexiCapture tools. So we have used NLP for text-based classification since Flexi FlexiCapture 12 release 2. This kicks in as soon as you use text-based classifiers as well as combined classifiers. This is through the use of supervised machine learning, and that basically means that we apply training to create such classifiers. And those trained neural networks do improve over time. So for instance, when we correct misclassified documents, those documents are added to the training set, and the training batch improves overall recognition. A basic rule of thumb is the more documents you have in the classification training batch, the better results you'll have. The same now applies to data extraction. So now we're able, using NLP, to extract segments, uh, pre-trained pre entities, as well as custom entities. Segments are one or several paragraphs. Usually we extract segments using supervised machine language. And that involves marking up documents and training documents in a training batch. And the same rule applies. The more documents you have in your training batch, the better the results. We also can use pre-trained pre entities so-called NERs, named entity recognition to extract data such as uh, people names, organizations, locations, and addresses. And this is a pre-trained neural network. And we can extract any other data depending on our needs by creating custom entities, by either using machine learning training or relying on regular expressions or dictionaries to detect those special entities. Let's take a look at what these segments are. Let's talk about segments and why we need segments. Segments are one or several paragraphs, and we create segments prior to extracting certain elements in order to 
reduce the search area for entities. For instance, it's much easier to find an address within the confines of this first yellow highlighted paragraph than looking throughout the entire document. And we can also use segments just to extract the entire paragraph or paragraphs if that's ever needed. In this case, the paragraph is an entity itself. But in most cases, we'll use segmentation NLP model in order to limit search areas for entities and to speed up the entire process. So when we refer to custom entities, we're talking about the fields that we want to extract. For instance, highlighted here, we want to extract information about the borrower. So first we limit the search area by defining a segment. Then only within that segment uh, do we perform the search for our entity. And there's different approaches that we can take for extraction. Machine learning is all about marking up documents and training. We can also um, extract data using regular expressions that are placed in a script, as well as using dictionaries and NERs. And there are sample extraction scripts in the Abbey help file. So let's talk a little bit about NLP scripted rules. These are scripted rules that are applied only to NLP models. And so scripted rules can use NER entities, such as locations or organizations or addresses. And sometimes data can be captured most easily using regular expressions. So we certainly support that via scripted rules. And we can also use dictionaries. You might have several dictionaries containing data that you're searching for. And a dictionary can be just a txt file containing all the possible search strings that you are looking for. And it's a really cool feature that we can combine these different technologies uh, in our scripted rules. So what does NER mean? Once again, named entity recognition for locating people names, uh, locations, organization names. And this technology is out of the box, meaning that no machine learning training is needed. So having already been trained, um, you can't influence the recognition results. These pre-trained neural networks take into account context. So they'll look for the target data and also look to the left and to the right of the data to help assess whether or not the target data is accurately being found. And this approach leads to improved uh, quality of data capture. Remember that these pre-trained neural networks were trained on um, US and European um, data sources, contracts, news articles, and so forth. So when one instance where this may not work so well is if we've got Asian names, for instance, written in English, um, then the NER recognition results won't be as good. So a good approach is to test out NER extraction for your targeted data. And if it works well, great. Otherwise, you can use your own special entities and use machine learning training. And so for uh, POCs and starting projects quickly, definitely start with NERs. Then in production, we recommend that you train your data um, using markup and machine learning. So in this way, you'll create a special neural network that's looking for your data from your documents.